Home. Chapter 42. A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Written and Narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by XAA. You can find a link to the artist's Tumblr in the description box below. Don't forget to give them a follow if you have the same social media platform. Now then, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. If you've made it to chapter 42, well, I mean, subscribe, please? If you've somehow missed the previous 41 chapters of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box. Now then, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment in support of the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to put, you can type Catching Hawk Moth. Now then, please enjoy Chapter 42. Adrian Agrest as Cat Noir. Cat Noir felt the breeze rustling his hair, like a calm message meant to reassure he was doing the right thing, bad luck and all. This was it. This was the night they caught Hawk Moth. The last two weeks had been simultaneously the longest and shortest of his life. Not only had he moved out of his father's mansion without permission, he'd also been disowned, then rehomed by the Dupang Changs. It might be bold of him to even think it, but if he needed a place to stay instead of getting his studio apartment, they'd probably put him up. But then the planning came, with ink covered in flour in the kitchen or sneaking off to talk about the fine details behind her... Marinette's parents' backs. His apartment looked like something out of a conspiracy theorist's dream, its walls lined with papers and question marks and only Ladybug knows what else. And now, the cool, brisk air greeted him, ruffling his hair on the roof of his apartment complex. His baton rumbled, a notification from Rena Rouge. It was done. There was a gossip leak that Cat Noir lived on this block with photos. Now he had to wait, on guard, until the consequences came. Viperion sat behind him, his reverse already activated as he stared out into the city. Okay. They could do this. Hey. Cat Noir turned to Viperion, catching his grim expression. Yes? He'd asked. They'd just gotten started. What had gone wrong? This time? Viperion said, wrapping his hand around Cat's shoulder. Actually, no. Let me start from the beginning. Uh, sure? Don't use your cataclysm. Excuse me? First will come Aquaponic. Her Akuma is in her earrings. He sucked in a breath, furrowing his eyes as he thought about it. Sorry, no. It's in her left earring. If I don't clarify, bad things happen. Oh, okay. Cat's heart rate picked up. Then they'd done this already. They'd done this multiple times, and Viperion looked spent. But Alex wasn't here, so it couldn't have gone that badly, right? They still had a chance? While you're fighting Aquaponic, I'll go out and get cookies and camembert and store them in your microwave behind that dumpster. He jutted his chin down at the alleyway and under the mailbox on the corner of Rue de Nancy. The owner of the candle store will let you in to hide and rejuvenate, but make sure to take a selfie with her son first. Kat stared at him, remembering the weariness from his attempt at being aspic. How many times? He hesitated. Sixty-four. Blowing out a sigh, Kat turned back to the night. So, what else do I need to know? Viperion filled him in on Gardetto, Spyglass, Bouchine, Litter, and Parfume's abilities as Ladybug arrived and listened in. 
her face drawing tight as the crease between her eyebrows became more pronounced. What happens after perfume? She all but whispered, looking at the shingles. Mayura. Ladybug's eyes snapped to Viperians. Why does that sound like a bad thing? His jaw went rigid, his temples flexing as he gritted his teeth. We'll catch up after Gardetto. I need you to focus on three things right now. Three things? First, you, more than anyone, need to rejuvenate as often as you can. Don't worry about transforming back into your mask right away when Gardetto appears. Trust your partners. You and Kat can take care of Aquaponic on your own, so I'll fill in Carapace and the others while you hold down the fort. What else? You'll need Multimouse for litter. Kat noticed an unspoken conversation flicking between Ladybug and Viperion that flickered an ugly feeling in his stomach like a gas oven that wasn't properly lit. What's the third? Kat interjected, breaking their eye contact by stepping in between them. Viperion smiled, tired but warm. Trust Paris. Excuse me? Ladybug asked, reaching out as Viperion stepped away. All of Pyrrhus is on your side, he said, his voice warm. Like I said, we'll catch up after Gardetto, but don't be afraid to accept help from people who don't wear masks. They have yet to betray you. Viperion all but fell off the roof, but Cat Noir wasn't concerned about that. His eyes searched for something else. Someone else. Sure enough, a cackle cracked the air above them. The seaweed green girl who appeared didn't need an introduction. This was Aquaponic. Clearing his throat and gripping his baton, Cat Noir squared up, ready to fight. All of Paris was on his side. He would not lose. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 43 is on the way. If you haven't already, don't forget to not only subscribe to this channel and smash the like button, but also leave a comment in support. If you don't know what to comment, either put all of Pyrrhus was on his side or he would not lose, whichever one you'd prefer. I will catch you in the next part. Bye!